Alrighty then, good afternoon everybody, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more uh, Adam. Going to be continuing where we last left off, in which case I died horribly, uh, which with Adam is not surprising, I suppose. Let me actually crank up the audio here a little bit. There we go, that's a little bit better. Alright, we're going to start up a new game, generate a brand new character. What's the challenge of this week, actually? Uh, week 50. You play as a mist elven barbarian born under the sign of the salamander with the following additional challenges. Corruption will be increased by 50%. You will grow hungry very fast. There's an average number of vaults. Talents will be predetermined. Uh, you'll be playing as a male character. Attributes will be the same for everyone. Now, I should mention, since the last time I played, I did finally look up the wiki and, uh, take a look at hunger and how it works and... What is it called? Sation or something like that? So essentially, there are a couple different levels of Sation. Uh, let me actually see if I can pull this up quickly, just so I can... Have everything kind of at the old fingertips. Now, yeah, just like, you know, just like Dwarf Fortress, this is a game where it's almost... Most definitely recommended to have the wiki open while you're playing Sation here we go so every turn your Sation level will decrease uh, if you were stationary if you're just standing you will use one per turn uh, let's see Sation per turn of walking is also one if you're burdened when you're standing still, it's 1. If you're walking, it's 1.5. Strained, when you're walking, it's 2. Uh, exceptionally strained would be 3, and then overburdened would be 4. Uh, trolls require an extra point per turn. Mist elves require less food, but the effect effect is not yet quantified, apparently. It appears to be somewhat more complex. Uh, above effects are halved for being a monk or a level 12 plus farmer. Or while being overburdened trollish wizard, for example, you would use five points of Sation per turn. Uh, Sation levels. Now, here's the good part. Uh, so, before I was just, you know, popping back food like crazy. And uh, it wasn't seeming to make much of a difference. Like, I'd get hungry, I'd eat something, and then it would kind of settle down for a bit. And it wouldn't make that much of a difference. So, essentially, for the Sation meter, uh, 250 to 1500 sa uh, Sation is kind of like the medium ground of not that hungry, not too well fed. Sated, which is uh, 15, 1501 to 2500, uh, would actually show up as a message saying that you are sated. The downside, though, is it actually does decrease your speed. So you would lose negative 5 speed if you were sated. And then from 2,500 plus, you would be bloated, which would be negative 10 speed, and you cannot eat any further. Uh, likewise, if it goes under 250, uh, from 249 to 50, you'll be hungry. From, uh, or from, or I should say 249 to negative 50, you'll be hungry. Uh, negative 51 to negative 300, you'll be very hungry. And then negative 301 or below, you'll be starving, and all attributes will be temporarily decreased. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Let me take a quick look at... Let me go back a page here if I can. Hunger. Was it food I was looking for? Yeah, it was food. Uh, essentially, an interesting thing that I made note of is that a iron ration and a large ration give you exactly the same amount of... What the hell? Okay, apparently the wiki forced some kind of bullshit pull on me for a minute there. Pardon me. So there are certain plants, you can, herbs you can eat. Uh, Rattling Trader can be found in the arena. Will trade you certain foods. Uh, cooked Lizard is the best for providing the most. All corpses can be eaten, apparently. Although some will cause issues. Reduce station value by up to a thousand depending on the corpse. Consumption of certain corpses is limited by race and hunger status. Troll may eat the largest variety and starving creatures will eat corpses they otherwise would refuse to. You could also cook them by using, uh, say, a fire spell. Now, where is this here? Loaves of elven bread. Ooh, wow, that'd be nice. A uh, loaf of elven bread would actually increase your station by 2,000. 
So that's pretty damn nice if you can actually find that. But uh, where is that ration? Here we go. Yes, an iron ration and a large ration both give you 500 station, but the large ration weighs an extra 100 stones. So, yeah. It's almost like what's the point of even bothering with that? Anyway, let's go ahead and generate a new character. Enough of that. Enough chatting. Let's get it done. Ooh, what do we got here? A wand. Nice. Lawful tendencies. It's hard to change. Uh, spells for neutral casters. 10% cheaper in power points. Uh, plus two initial charisma. Starts with lawful tendencies. All that good stuff. Let me make sure that the audio is not too loud here. 10% more power points. So we're essentially we're going from age. Once again, male. Grey Elf. Most noble of all the races. Let's go with a Grey Elf. And I think I'm going to go with the old, good old Elementalist again, because that seemed to work out quite well for the most part. Alright. You were born a May, uh, male Grey Elf. You have silver hair, amber eyes, and pale complexion. Parents are traveling adventurers. Both are uh, competent, talented, and doing very well. As a child, you had to survive pretty harsh times, since your parents seemed to have uh, run out of luck. Uh, their wealth was ever declining, and times were very hard. As a youth, you spent a lot of time in the wilds exploring the woods, generally enjoying your freedom. You had a lot of fun and learned the value of treasures in nature. Yay, nature! Life as a young adult was characterized by steady determination. Your goal lay clear ahead of you, and you never strayed from your path. Let me lower this down a little bit more. Whoops, not that much. All the way. Oh, fucking hell, I wish I had a better... I really do wish I had, like, a better uh, UI or something for my... Uh, for my mixer. Just a, it's the base crap mixer, to be honest. But I almost need to get something decent. Staves, slings. Plus two melee with staves. Tempting. So I get two points I can pick here. So go alert, plus one perception. Careful, plus one DV. Yes, we'll go with that. What is your name? Silverbeard. That works. Man, I need to brew some more tea. I really do. Uh, yeah, let's go through this dungeon. Now, inventory. What did I start off with? A dagger. A, wing of, a ring of fire and acid resistance. A wand of digging. A uh, lightning bolt and ball lightning. Potion of Potential Willpower, Potion of Water, a Blank Scroll, Loaf of Elven Bread. Oh, damn, Loaf of Elven Bread. Sweet. Huh. Burning Hands and Frostbolt. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and equip these. Equip everything. Right hand. We'll equip the plus two dagger. So 1d4 plus 2, not too bad. God, this makes... Every time I see this, every time I see this system, it makes me want to play freaking Dungeons & Dragons again. Ah. Uh... Sorry, bro. Got some bones. All right, so pick up the long sword, crude knife. Sadly, they did not leave a corpse. Oh, there was a hood. It's like, what the hell is this? I can't read it. That's not a hell of a lot, but we'll take it. Open the door. Proceed forward. We have a rattling. That was quickly dealt with. Uh oh. One second. Let me let me pause this for a moment here. I have to go into my damn Steam settings and get rid of this uh, indicator. I was using it for something specific. What was it? Uh, oh yeah, seven days to die is why I turned that back on. 
turn off the FPS indicator so I can actually read the damn text. Thank you very much. All right. So we apparently avoided some kind of flash. Oh, yeah, it's K then. There we go. Shadow the door with a mighty kick. No experience. I'm going to go ahead and use a frost bolt. So we have a rack corpse right here. So let me try something. I'm going to use burning hands on the rack corpse. Didn't really do anything. Now let's try eating the rack corpse. Even though we're not exactly that hungry right now. You vomit. Apparently I didn't like rat. Shame. I mean, yes, it was rat. I tried to use the flame spell. But it didn't work out for me. This meal does not sit well with you. So I ate the goblin, though. I ate the goblin as well. Level two. All right, concentration most definitely. And let's also go healing. Let's go apply healing. You automatically take care of your long-term wounds. Got several items here, a knife and a blanket. I wonder what I would use the blanket for. Try talking to this goblin. Okay, I'm going to burn you now. I hope you don't mind. Let's go downstairs. Ooh, what do we have here? Ancient altar of gray granite. Unlabeled scroll. What is this? Piece of raw meat. So I need a fire bolt, really. I tried using just the burning hands on the corpse, but it did not cook the corpse. Uh, okay. You moved into a dark place. It is pitch black here. Don't I have a torch? No, I do not. Oddly enough. Oh, well. If I can't see, I can't see. Sup, bro? See the hearthling? I have not seen the hearthling, no. Female orc misses me. I guess she didn't like my advances. Alright, then. Uh, it does bring interesting images to the mind, doesn't it? Got some clothes. What is my current capacity? Oh god, yes. My carrying capacity is, is significant. We haven't even remotely come close to that. I'm gonna burn you alive now. Nope, can't do it. Oh, well. Who the hell are you, bugbear? Uh, let's wait till you get closer. Burn your ass. Concentration. Put some points into dodging. All right. Let's see what we have here. Plus one hit in melee. Gain experience hit points. Wound seal faster. Probably a wound seal faster would be useful. Yeah, my wounds heal 20% faster. Iron ration. Perfect. There's a lot of torches on that left wall. Ouch. 
By kicking in the door, I triggered a trap, a rune trap. I avoided the explosion, but my dagger was torn apart. I guess I'll be beating things to death with my bare hands then now. Um, let's use... Use the long sword, I guess. It's a 1d8. I don't get any plus... I believe that's might be plus to hit, actually. We have a hat. Hood and a hat. I don't think there's much of a difference between the two. A large cobalt. We'll see who's mighty. I think I solved that question in like half a second. Ooh, dwarven sausage. What is the... Uh, let me see. What's, what's the feed rate on dwarven sausage? Uh, it's 500, actually. So it's about the same, exactly the same as a, uh, as a ration. Oh, damn it. What a waste. I'm just going to destroy you now. Ooh, crude knife. Sweet. Alright, I guess we're kind of done here then. Let's see what we have up here, actually. Just out of curiosity. What are you, a rattling or something? Ooh, we got a speckled potion. And there we go. What the hell are you? I don't know, but you look evil. A black hearthling. Transformed into ashes. Level 4. Nice. So we have great concentration already. Let's go ahead and increase our dodge. Haggling. Got some leather armor there. Weighing 150 stones. I almost wish I could have it set up to automatically search the room. Okay. Alright, up we go. Let's get on out of here. Nope. What's up, rat? Do a bit of searching around here. Nope. Finding nothing. Punk. Alright. Let's get on out. What do you have for me? Short bow. Which I will sell in town. What the heck are you? We have a zombie. I'm just going to blast them. He dropped a scroll for me. I will take that. And out we go. Which is weird. Usually that's the tutorial dungeon. So it's kind of odd to me that it suddenly has like nothing to get there. No. No, I do not wish to just leave the village yet, damn it. No, I do not wish to attack the... For the last time, I'm not attacking the druid. Enough. Alright, let's try dropping a few things. So he's not going to buy any of this. 
I didn't think so. All right, let's get out of town then. There's nothing. There's literally nothing we can do here then. Let's look around a bit, actually. There's the outlaw settlement. Oh, we're getting hungry. Inventory. Uh, let's eat the iron ration. And while we're at it, let's also eat the dwarven sausage. Hobgoblin patrol. Let's fight. Nice. I love being a mage sometimes. What am I saying? I always love being a mage. Ma. Ooh, we got Firebolt. Let's use Firebolt again. See if that'll cook this corpse for us. Did I pick it up? Didn't think so. Weird. Well, killed them. That was easy. So I'm trying to look for another another hobgoblin patrol. Ooh. Got him. So we got some gauntlets. Any more of you pricks want a piece of me? Huh? I don't think so. Pack of wild dogs. Aw, oh, aren't you adorable? Firebolt. All right, large dog corpse, inventory. Let's go ahead and eat that. He was very tough, maybe you should cook it before eating it. Shrug. Ooh, we have a small cave here. Let's explore. Ah, uh, okay. Sense a certain tension. Oh, there we go. I knew there had to be a door. Uh huh. Scroll labeled Munch Munch. Something tells me that's a scroll of food or something. Ooh, quarter staff. There we go. There's something I should be wielding. Oh no, where the hood? Where the hood? Let's go. Where is it? Quarter staff. A one D ten. the hell oh you puck apply healing all right first aid then I suppose I should have just applied the bandage and been done with it what the hell oh it's a doppelganger I was like, what the fu? I've been cloned. Uh oh. A chaos brother. Let's 
Go ahead and firebolt his ass. Before he has a chance to retaliate and potentially kill me. Let's increase first aid. Oh no. Uh, that's fine. I increased my dodge by mistake, but that's okay. Plus three power points. Plus two speed. More easily evade traps. Yes. Plus three DV when fighting very defensively. I'm gonna get six cents just because how many times we've we been just like killed outright by some trap. That's a goblin chieftain. Ooh, a flail. Punk. Uh, goblin corpse, quarterstaff. You have an orcish dagger. Inventory. Oh, you punk. Oh, hey, you're not dead yet. Small shield. Inventory. Orc corpse. Eat it. Tastes like pork. Like old pork. Ah, that's fantastic. Prick. So my frost bolts are no longer quite uh, one shotting these guys. So I better be careful. Go ahead and. Oh, I'm sated now. It's gonna lower my speed a bit. Do a blanket here. Lizard man. Actually, probably should chill for a while here. Orc Chieftain. Drops the leather armor. Nice. Inventory. Neck. Whoops. Body. We've got the robe. Leather armor. Ah, there we go. Cloak is what I was looking for. Burning hands. Goblin slave master. Oh shit. Wow! I paused for like two seconds and a fucking cave spider comes in and instantly murders me. Four hits and I was instantly killed. Fucking hell. I need to look up that damn key for just waiting and then pausing once something shows up. God damn it. Uh, it seems to be how my characters turn out, though. They just get fucking horribly obliterated. Companions are more powerful. Let's go for... Uh... Let's go a specific character. Male. Let's go with a trollish chaos knight. Just because, why the hell not? Let's go with that. I got nothing. Let's go with that. So I start off with quite a bit. Full plate mail. Huge iron hammer. 
have a heavy club as well. So what is the huge iron hammer? Negative one hit chance. It's a 2d9 plus two though. So that's not too bad. God, that makes me want to roll a 2d9 now. <laughs> heavy club. We have a 1d10 plus two. Better chance to hit. Got some sandals here. Oh, just a random robe. I'm such a loot uh, loot pack rat. I just have to loot everything. An orc statue. What is this thing? I have no idea what that is. Let me take a look here. Statues. Very rare type of item. Can be... Seriously, Google. Fuck off. Please answer a quick question to support Wikia. Thank you, but fuck off. I'm trying to read shit here. I mean, you're already putting ads on here. You can, seriously, you can F off with the survey shit. Uh, they can be created using the petrification spell on any non-resistant monster. There are also a number of unique statues of famous heroes found in the bug cave. Main use of statues is to be kicked. Destroying them gives a chance of granting a magic wand. It's possible to take them to higher danger level areas, kick them there, giving a possibility of very potent wands indeed. The extremely high weight of most statues tends to render that strategy impractical. Interesting. So let's kick that then. Ah. All right, what else do I have here? Let's try. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Hmm. debatable because I can only keep one of these I will keep the iron hammer drop the club I need to get this guy uh, some additional carry capacity short bow missile weapon short bow now I just need some arrows and I'm good Hand axe. Should be a door here. There it is. What the hell? You were stunned by a sudden flash. I am blinded by the flash. What the fuck is that? The fuck is that? A purple worm. Wait, what? I have a companion? It's a companion? Purple worm. Let's take a look here. It's a type of monster. Like all worms, they're capable of rapidly duplicating themselves. Oh, God. And can grow into huge numbers if left unchecked for too long. Particularly if the PC is resting to regain health, their attacks are weak but can poison. All right. Interesting. So I guess I have a companion. Yay, let's go, my loyal worm friend. Okay, this thing's... 
I'm beginning to think I should probably go with the club instead. Secret door. And I found the way down. Excuse me, my little friend. Go back this way. Because, you know, even if I have a 2D9, it doesn't really make much of a difference if I can't hit the target. So, yeah, I'm going to swap that out. I am hungry. Let's see if I can get downstairs then, find a corpse. Actually, it was a corpse I left off on the right there, and I just didn't eat it. Oh, well. Ah. Oh. oh, none of these things are leaving bodies for me. Got a blanket. There's my little friend. No, Wormy, no! You bastard! You killed Wormy! Alright. Inventory, we're too hungry now. I have to eat my rations. The hell? Wormy 2, the son of Wormy. I guess. Tasted good. I don't have any spells. I don't really have any skills, do I? The fuck? Wow, I'm missing even more with this, almost. It's like, what the deuce? I have been poisoned. Finally managed to freaking attack the damn thing. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Poison! Poison! Yeah, that stuff! Yeah! About that whole, you know, it doesn't stop unless I cure it thing. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. <laughs> ah, the sword. The sword. Alright, let's go with, uh... Let's go with a human paladin or something. Uh, no, let's go with just a fighter. Let's just go with a plain old fighter. Randomize, because I don't want to go through a million questions. But I've got one talent I can spend right now. It increases strength. Blarg. Blarg it is, because blarg it all. Blarg it all to Blargington. So we got chainmail, light sword, broad, or light cloak, broadsword, medium shield, heavy boots. I do actually have a tinderbox and a large ration. So I could potentially cook some bastards. Seems like the thing I'm, do, I'm best with is just mages. Nothing else really seems to last very long with my characters. Orange potion. Let me try something. Okay. Let's try this then. Do 
Feel the torch if you have one. That's not what I'm trying to do, though. Alright, we'll do it this way, then. Let's eat them raw. Drop the rotten one. And I found a club. Ooh, gold. It's like, get back here, rattling. Ooh, got a metal cap. Sweet. That'll increase my defense value. Aw, puppy. You have to die. Wonder if there's actually... I, I've never found that damn dog. These are my identified items. I have no spells currently. Level 2. Alright. There we go. Increased my dodge chance. Which is probably going to be bloody important. Considering how often I get my ass kicked. Alright. I haven't really advanced that far in this game at all. Like, I keep dying so quickly that I don't really have the chance to, uh... Oh, Jesus. Monster Zoo! This is gonna level me up something fierce. Let's see here. Go swords. Increase my affinity with swords. Dodging chance. Find weakness. What the hell is that anyway? Broodmother? A were rat. Oh, it's a were rat. Interesting. Uh, somebody I know actually picked this up as well. And they died to a were rat who was chanting to a god or something. So he essentially, like, channeled some kind of spell and then killed him. Level 5. Wow, we're leveling up fast here. It's kind of... We have metallurgy. We have, like, mining and stuff, I guess. But I've never really... Again, I've never had the chance to truly figure out how the hell to do any of it. Man, monster zoos are the shit. I wonder if Adam was the first game to add monster zoos. I know Dungeons of Dreadmore had them. But it uh, makes me wonder. Sure. No, I'm not going to eat rat. That doesn't turn out well. We do have an orc corpse, though. That I will eat. Tastes like pork. Bloody pork. This time it tastes like bloody pork instead of old pork. Level up to level 6. Nice. Dodging increased. Food preservation. Let's see here. Choose a talent. Let's go down. Plus one hit in melee. Plus two to hit when fighting with two weapons. Let's go with ambidextrous, I would think. Or, or, actually, no. Where is that? Uh, more easily disarm traps, find more gold, 1 DV when wielding a shield. That's what I think I was looking for. Shield specialist. 
So I do have a shield. Let's see here. I have heavy boots actually. Gloves. All right. Still strained? Oh no, I'm sated. I'm sated, not strained. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. What the? Ugly sucker. What's my health at now? 50. Not bad. This is, I think this is one of my highest level melee characters so far. Just because I happen to find a rat zoo. Oh, here we go. Inventory. Let's go ahead and add... Where the hell is it? I left it behind, didn't I? Shit. And away we go. It's one down. Cobalt corpse. I think they were one of the ones I wasn't supposed to eat. So I'm going to avoid that. We're sated right now anyway, so I don't really want to eat anything. Ugly clothes. search around here. I'm just wondering, can I actually search around and find just something in the room? Like, will it show me something in the room? Or do I have to be, like, literally right next to, uh, like, say, a hidden door to find it? Oh, Cobalt Zoo. gonna last a while ah! man I'm gonna be mad levels I'm gonna be madly leveled by the time I get out of this place you improve your skill in the swords group to level four sweet nice we got a metal girdle I will use that Short bow, I'll equip that. Arrows I'll take. All right. Bracers, girdle. Missile weapon, short bow. Missiles themselves, we'll put in the arrows. What the hell are you? Giant bat? Huge bat, yes. I'll take that. Why a huge bat was carrying around a pouch of gold, I don't even know. But a large orc. up some gauntlets well I've searched the surroundings like 20 plus times what the hell are you dark sage seems to panic mumbles some cryptic words you are hit by a painful stream of energy prick Got a barbarian here. Level 7. Nice. My dodging is fantastic. Find weakness. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Or at least start making our way out.
So we're level, we're level seven ish. We have 60, 60 plus, yeah, 68 uh, health right now. Power points doesn't make too much of a difference. Our DV is 17. Tactics are normal right now. So I can change my tactic using F1. So aggressive, defensive, very defensive. Let's go defensive. Oh shit. This could be bad. We have a gelatinous cube. Those things could be really bad. Touching a cube paralyzed me. Because if uh, if it's anything like the old uh, or any like the typical kind of uh, slime lore, as it were, then you touch the damn thing and you're basically turned into slime. You are screwed. You need fire to kill them. All right, let's get out of here. And that's pretty much the only thing that it's kind of like, uh, who the hell are you? A cut purse, apparently. So a thief. We had nine ration, fantastic. Go ahead and loot that. Took out that large orc. Ooh, we got a large bat corpse here. Hopefully I don't get no rabies. Tastes like chicken. Uh, no, I'm not going to go that way. And out we go. So we made it out of the first dungeon alive. Yay. Kind of like, is this really the expanse of the world? No. No. All right, the frogs are dead. Uh oh. Bathe them if you can. I'm just looking for another town, basically, for once. Here we go. What the fuck? Ambushed by a group of outlaws, I do not get away. Not even given the chance. Boom, boom. Sounds like we're playing some kind of uh, interesting techno song here. Boosh, 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 boop, boop, boo. No, I'm kidding. That's terrible. That's horrible, actually. I think my defensive formation is the only thing that's keeping me alive right now. This is definitely an epic battle between man and bandit. There we go. Success! Huzzah! That was epic. That was epic. I am I am surprised that I actually survived that. Now we've got skeletons showing. Oh Jesus! Holy crap! This is even worse. 
Okay. If we survive this, I'm sticking around until I'm full health. Why am I not leveling? My god. Ooh, we found a crossbow. A broken round key. Like crossbow. Alright. Activate. First aid. He wasn't the only asshole left. God, I'm surrounded by assholes. All right. Uh, large ration. Definitely eat that immediately. Okay. Let's leave. Wow. What is with all the encounters I'm finding here? Pyramid without any means of access. A lone necromancer. I'm like, just looking for a town, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice, level eight. Again, we're going to max out my dodge chance because that seems to be the thing that's keeping me alive right now. Like, is there no other towns in this game other than the bandit town and the initial town? That would suck so much because then there's just, there's nothing to trade. I can't, I can't go back to town, sell stuff. You know, that would be almost disappointing if I can't find any other towns. Let me, let me Google or ghoul. Uh, High Mountain Village. Village Dungeon, one of the easiest dungeons, just southeast of the town. High Mountain Village. So, as far as I can see, there's only like the one damn village. Well, or the two of them, I should say. I really don't know. It's just kind of like what's going on here. Yeah, this is definitely going to be my longest lasting warrior. Maybe my longest lasting char character, period. So we're going the long way back around then. Alright. Pretty sure my swimming is so poor that I would drown. Ooh, man, I just found a source of food. Preservation. Well, I can never seem to cook it because I don't know how. So, screw it. Alright, we're nice and sated now. Need special equipment to apparently climb the mountain. More frogs. Oh well. 
Guess we'll be having some frog leg soup then. I made it. Huh. I know there's more to this than there is that I'm seeing here, but I can't seem to locate it. Oh well. Let's head out into the mountains here so you can find another village. Maybe they were saying I cannot uh Maybe it was saying that I couldn't, uh, the fuck, couldn't get to that one town in the bottom right unless I have the climbing equipment. That might be the reason. Large ration. All right, pay. Yes. Thank you. Large dog corpse, eat that. Large ration. I am half tempted just to go murdering everybody. I guess the black market over here might be the only place I can just sell everything. Drop. Uh, let's drop the scrolls. I don't even care what price he's asking or giving me for them. So yeah, this is the only place I can apparently sell just like everything. So I have 336 gold pieces now. We have a short sword, 700 gold. Scroll of charging, dwarven sausage, 300 gold. Tiny key, a mithril mace. So yeah, literally you don't even want to kill this merchant almost because he's the only one who can actually buy your shit. All right, let's go explore this dungeon. Quick to the fungeon. I was really hoping there'd be more. I mean, oh, hello. I mean, if there's a million ways to die, that's an intra. I mean, that's good enough for a roguelike in and of itself. But if there's, you know, not too much else to it other than just the randomness of things that can happen to you and what you can do. And if there's no more towns to really visit and shit to do, no quests to take up or something, that would be... I'd be disappointed, actually. Alrighty then. Ooh, a cloak. Oh, it's a jackal of some kind. And I'm getting hungry again. I don't think they left behind a corpse. Nope. No bodies. No bodies hitting my floor. Got a sling. Got 
Damn. Heap of rocks. That's it. Get back here, you troll bastard. Female bandit. It's kind of funny how there's a bunch of, like, you know, human bandits and such living with these monsters, and yet they're all attacking me. Die, you bastard. Figured as much. Nope, still no body. Damn it. I have a ration I can eat, but I don't want to. Oh, and I'm blinded by the bright flash. All right, no choice. Let's eat my ration. It's like that was too long to wait for a body to drop. Ow. My metal cap got torn apart. Oh well. Female Cobalt. I haven't encountered a dungeon merchant in a long time. Actually. I remember one of them had like a scroll of wit or a book of wish or something. Pick up some thick gauntlets. Who the hell are you? Uh oh. It's a werewolf. So, because he feasted on the enemy, he became more powerful. Oh, you cowardly SOB. Got him. Come on, give me a corpse. Hardy bastards. Screw the lot of you. Who the fuck is this? Oh, it's a necromancer. Found you. You can't hide from me, you fool. Oh, yeah, skeleton. Oh. Oh, hey, a rat nest. Honestly, I would almost eat rat at this point. I mean, it would be bad. But it's like... They're not leaving... Ooh, Dwarven Sausage. Fantastic. Dwarven Sausage is actually amazing. Actually, no, it's not. Never mind. Never mind. Dwarven Sausage is actually the same as a ration. But I'd rather eat the ration right now just because it's... Weighs more. What the fuck? Is that an armed werewolf? That is a knoll. Kind of looked like an armed werewolf, though. Dodge... Food preservation. All right. Ooh. Next page. Let's see here. Let's go with let's go with that. Get ambidextrous. Do I have another weapon? I have a mace. I'd rather have two broadswords. If I can acquire it. Oh, something, something tells me I'm going to just die from starvation again. In the end. You know, I'll just keep going down. Just keep going down till I can't go any further. I want to see what the deepest, darkest depths of this hellhole has for me. I found a caveman. The fuck is that? 
some kind of glowing eye or something. Or not glowing eye, but still. A, I can't even read that. Floating eye, I guess. Uh oh. Touching it apparently paralyzes me. So it's another creature that inflicts paralysis. Gotcha. Oh, you silly fool. You thought you could escape. Nope, nothing there. Open it up. I'm just going until I die now at this point. What the hell? Is that an ogre? That is an effing ogre. This might be it, man. Oh no, the ogre's going down. Ogre's going down hard. I'm getting hungry again. What the hell is that? A, oh, a carrion crawler. Ah, I see. Those are deadly little creatures. Watery potion. And again, what the hell is this? A giant lizard. Come on, leave me a giant corpse. And a bear. Come on. No. Why am I not leaving corpses? God, this is killing me, literally. The reason why it's taking me so long to kill these guys is probably because I'm fighting defensively right now. Or have been fighting defensively for a long time. That's probably the reason why I'm still alive, though. Ooh, hello, what do we have here? A crude spear. Alright, so I'm continuing with my philosophy of just keep going down. I don't really know where this is going to end. Floor wise, but I'm just gonna keep on a going. Is that a hellhound? Yep, hellhound. Thought as much. So he's breathing fire on me, but he failed horribly. Cobalt Chieftain. Sorry, but you're not going to be defending the Chieftain, Wolfie. Alright, inventory. Gotta eat. that a troll it is a hill orc sergeant oh wow I'm actually stunned by the force of his attack this might be it this might be the guy that finally kills me got him Woo! he is not the one he is not the chosen one who will slaughter me You are unworthy. Got him. Finally got him. That took a while, actually. So I'm starting to really encounter some tough opponents down here. Alright, inventory. Let's try drinking some potions. I have no idea what they're going to do to me. But let's do it. Let's drink an orange potion. Look what tastes like plain carrot juice. Rotten carrot juice, that is. Okay. How about we drink a turquoise potion? Mmm, dwarfish mead. Fuck yeah, dwarfish mead. Who the hell are you? A swordsman. Maybe he'll drop a sword for me.
Oh, I actually somehow dropped my weapon. Let's do this, prick. No, you don't, asshole. Not after making me go through all that. Got him. Inventory. Oh, it's a cursed mace. Fuck. So I can no longer remove the mace from my inventory. Or from my equipment. Shit. That was unfortunate. What the fuck do we have here? We have a displacer beast. Holy shit, we have a displacer beast. Apply skill. Find weakness. You automatically use that skill. Look at it. Oh, I'm gonna die. Inventory. Drink it. I can't see myself. Just drink everything. Feel somewhat healed. That was a healing potion. Green potions are apparently healing potions right now. Let's uh, drink this watery potion. Tastes like plain water. There we go. It's finally going to be the guy that kills me. Yep. Female troll finally finished me off. As a level... What was I? Level 9... Damn, that's definitely my longest lived character, level 9 human fighter. I don't know though, I'm almost a bit disappointed because there doesn't seem to be, there's just not enough that interests me in this, in the, uh, along the lines of towns to visit and stuff to sell, interesting things to buy. Maybe I'm comparing this too much to the, uh, more, you know, recent roguelikes like Dungeons Dreadmore or, uh, similar ones, but. I'm thinking uh, was the other one. Uh, God damn it. Sword of the Stars of the Pit. But that one doesn't have any merchants either. It's mostly just continuing down into the deeper levels. And then maybe finding some stuff and crafting as you go. But yeah. Anyway. Regardless. Uh, we did pretty well. Didn't suck nearly as much this time. Uh, not sure what the hell I'm going to do next time to be completely honest. We killed quite a few. Dear God. Did we kill quite a few. We did well this time. We did well. Ah, well, another time. Next time, we got this. So thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Have yourselves a great one, and I will see you all another time.